Hello everyone, this is Mock, and I'm here with another video about Last Fortress Underground. The Warp Beast had been released. Let's see in this video how we can get them and how they work. But before we go on, if you like my video, don't forget to like it after watching it. You know, I'll be very grateful. Same as with the trucks, the Metallic Dragon, which looks more like a T-Rex, are assigned to each garage, so you can have more than one. The way to get them are obviously through the purchase of bundles, with the contract of the Premium Pass, through this chest dropped by the Mutant Zombies and which can only be opened if you have activated the Premium Pass contract. In the event War Beast Challenge, you can get 50 Metallic Dragon Blueprints for free and another 100 by buying the Advanced Pass for $20. We can also get blueprints for free with the drop of mutant zombies, which give us two for each mutant killed. They can also be obtained during the first 14 days after the release in the War Beast Joins the Fight event, started on September 18. If you're watching this video beyond those 14 days, this event will no longer be active. The Metallic Dragon has some basic attributes that apply to all heroes even if they are not in the formation in which we installed the War Beast. And it also has modification attributes that only apply to the formation of the track in which we have the beast. The basic attributes are six. Weapon attack, tactical attack, weapon defense, tactical defense, critical rate, and damage bonus. And the modification attributes are 24. Before unlocking the beast, we can see all of them. However, when we unlock it, we will realize that we will have to level it up to unlock them. The basic attributes will be unlocked one by one from level 1 starting with the weapon attack. When all of them have been unlocked, from level 6 the percentage of bonus given will be increased. To level up the beast, we will need blueprints. To go from level 1 to level 2, it will ask for 100 units. From that until level 5, it will ask for 50 units per level. Then, from level 6, it will ask for 100 units again. And level 7 is where I am now. We will see if at higher levels it will ask for more blueprints per level. Let us know in the comments if you are already there. Hey, you can't miss this deal. Try Paxify for free and gain access to insane first deposit bonuses. Thousands of gamers have unlocked epic savings, leveling up to the top alliances. New players can try Paxify service for free with a $4.99 bundle, zero cost and zero risk. And that's not all. Paxify offers incredible first deposit bonuses. Take a look at this amazing offer. You can get up to $410 in bonuses. Click the link in the description box of the video to try Paxify for free today. But remember, this is a time-limited offer. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. The modification attributes will be unlocked as we rise the level of modification of the War Beast. By doing it, new slots will be unlocked to place modules. And when installing level 5 modules for some and level 6 or higher level for others, the special attribute corresponding to each slot will be activated, no matter what type of module is installed. Now, why merging and leveling up the modules? Well. The sum of the level of the modules that we have installed will determine the level of the modification of the beast and with this, the amount of slots available to install new modules. To get the modules, the options are a bit reduced if we do not spend money. Originally, it seems that these were supposed to be dropped by the normal zombies and the truth is that before the reset of the first day, I killed a couple of zombies and I did get one of them to drop a module. However, after reset, I killed 80 zombies and got nothing. Could it be that the developers lowered the drop rate to make us spend money? Anyways, at the helicopter you can trade up to 50 basic module chests for the price of 2 blueprints each. Is it worth it? Hmm, I don't know Rick, maybe when we get the dino at the max level but then it should be time to unlock the beast for the other trucks. We do have the chance to get them in the drop of the mutated zombies. 
we will be able to get some in the event War Beast Challenge and War Beast joins the fight. Obviously, they will also be obtained with the help of Lady Visa and Mastercard. To level up the modules, we have the option to merge them. Using two of them of the same type and level, we make them go up one level with 100% effectiveness. The overclocking option will allow us to rise the level of the module up to 6 levels, stay where it is, or even to get damage. It does not indicate what it is the percentage of probability of this. It only tells us that this action has 100% effectiveness at level 13 or higher, and then they will only go up one level. Finally, there is the split module option, which is nothing more than taking a module of a higher level and decomposing it into two parts of a directly lower level. Well guys, I hope this can be helpful for you. As always, join my Discord and follow me in my other social media. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and activate notifications so you know when I upload new content. This is Mock, I wish you all a great day, bye bye.